Alex asked if I could show how to make shorts like Alex Hormozy. Yeah, brah. But first, I've got to become Alex. Hot wife named Layla? Here's my hot wife named Leela. They spell it the same, so check. Worth millions? Worth millions of pennies. Check. Thick, beautiful hair. I'll just settle for this sweet hat. But I clearly need to get more jacks, so give me a sec. I cannot lose if I do not quit. If you want to have success like Alex Hormozzi, model him for sure, but remember to be yourself. Alex Hormozzi is a jacked young multimillionaire, and he could be wearing $20,000 suits, but he films himself in white tank tops because that's what he likes, that's who he is, and he doesn't have to think about what he's going to wear. You're not going to be Alex Hormozzi or Mr. Beast or Ali Abdal because they're already taken. Here are three editing hacks you can do in CapCut so you can be more like Alex Hormozzi while being yourself. Number one, Alex uses jump cuts, and CapCut makes it really easy to create jump cuts. Alex has a very natural speaking style, and when he pauses or makes a mistake or repeats himself, he just removes all that in the edit, and that creates a jump cut like this. You just saw a few jump cuts because I paused and I deleted the space in between. CapCut has a pro feature called Remove Filler Words that'll help you with that, but I'm going to show you how to edit very quickly with or without that feature. First, remove filler words. Here's a clip. I repeated myself several times in this clip. I'm going to click on Pro Remove Filler Words. It's going to analyze it and pop up this screen here, which shows you what it wants to delete, but I can actually read it and see, oh, I don't need this or this or this. So I'm just going to click on all the things I want to remove. Here's the stuff I want to keep. And here I repeated myself. It didn't catch that I repeated myself, but I'm going to click on it. And now I just go down here and I hit delete and it trims my clip from, you know, 20 seconds down to this. Now I can look at the waveforms in the timeline to see how it did. And I can tell that I probably don't need any of this stuff, but let's just go ahead and clean it up a little bit. And whether or not you use that pro feature, this is how you quickly edit down the first take. Obviously that first stuff needs to go. So I just highlight it and I hit delete. I have the magnetic timeline on, so it just sucks it over. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what's going on here. I can see where this ends, so I could like grab this razor blade over here and I could cut it and then delete it. But the easier way that most people don't even know about, if I'm at the end of a clip and I wanna get rid of this little piece from here to here, I type one keystroke, just W. Bam, I'm gonna do it again. I type W, it places a blade there, clicks on that thing and removes it and sucks everything over. Bam, that's gone. Now this stuff is obviously a mistake, so I'm gonna highlight that and delete it. Then I need to go here and listen. But first I gotta become Alex Hormozzi. This is dead space. Good YouTubers remove all of the dead space and then cap cut to get rid of this. From the beginning of the clip to this point, I type the letter Q. At the end of the clip, I would type a W, so if I wanna get rid of from here to the end of the clip, I type a W, that would go away. To get rid of anything from the playhead back to the beginning of the clip, I would just type the letter Q. Those are the most underused keystrokes that will make you a way faster editor. You just go through your entire video with Q and W getting rid of anything you don't need. Let me show you one last time. At the end, I can see from the waveform that there's nothing after that. It's gonna position my playhead right here to get rid of all of this. What keystroke is it? It is W. And now, this all plays smoothly. Andrea asked if I could show how to make shorts like Alex Hormozzi. But first I gotta become Alex Hormozzi. The second thing Alex does that you can do in CapCut is he'll be talking and kind of moving his head and body naturally and the frame follows him around to give it a little bit of motion. Super easy to do. I mean, you could manually keyframe it, but there's a cool feature built into CapCut to make this whole frame moving around thing look great. It's also great if you're dancing because the whole frame will move and dance with you and move in and out. This is how you do it in CapCut. You duplicate the video you want to apply this effect to by holding down the Option key on a Mac, the Alt key on a PC and dragging it up. Click on the top layer, click on Tracking, then you click on Motion Track and position this over the thing you want to track. You can track your face, your body, depending on what you're doing. In this case, we want to track my head. So I'm just going to put it right on my face here, and I'm going to hit Start. You'll notice that as it tracks me, it reveals a little bit of this underneath, which might be a look that you want. Maybe it isn't. If you don't want that look, I suggest turning off the bottom track and then just scaling up this top track by going into Video and scaling it up a little bit until you don't see the edges. And then it looks 
a little better. We just gotta go through the whole thing and make sure it doesn't cross over. And then it looks like this. One thing you may have noticed in Alex's videos is that as he's naturally talking and his head and body are moving, it almost looks like the camera's moving with him. That's a pretty cool effect. You should try it with dancing, it's really fun. The third thing you may have noticed in Alex's videos is that he uses a lot of graphics. Sometimes he'll have money exploding behind him. Let's go ahead and do the, the money explosion. The first thing you wanna do is find some falling money or exploding money on green screen on YouTube and then just download it. The app I use to download all my stuff from YouTube is linked in the description below. And it looks like this. But we're gonna use it for a vertical video, so I'm just gonna drop this vertical video down here, trim it up a tiny bit, and duplicate it by clicking an option or alt dragging it above. I'm gonna click on the top layer and choose cut out, auto cut out. While it's cutting it out, I'm going to grab this money right here and stick it in between those two layers, like that. Trim it up. If I drag through it, we can see the money exploding in the background, but we need to scale this up, so I'm just going to Click on this layer, click on basic, and scale it up so it fills the screen. And it looks like this. Except we got all that green. To get rid of the green, we make sure it's highlighted. We select cutout, we select chroma key, select the color picker, choose the green, adjust the strength, and then move here so we can see if we have the strength adjusted appropriately. And you might notice a problem like, oh, look at all that green. Well, we can bump this up a little more, but if we go too far, the money starts to disappear. So here's what you do to fix that problem. And you'll have this problem probably with a lot of green screen videos. So pay attention to this. You wanna go over to adjustments, select not basic, but HSL. That stands for hue, saturation, and lightness. Select green. And watch what happens when I take the saturation down for the green. It's like, oh, oh, all the money looks normal now. And now it looks like this. One thing you may have noticed in Alex's videos is... To see three more ways to make videos like Alex Hormozzi, you want to click on this video right here.